Hey you guys, Irene Lyon here. Welcome to this video and welcome to my world and my education. If you're new to me, thank you for being here. And if you have been following me for a while, thank you for continuing to be here and to share. I've been getting more and more people that have been saying that they're sharing these videos with lots of people, so I really appreciate that. As you know, I'm all about nervous system health, nervous system healing, and helping people get out of their survival instincts, their fight, flight, and freeze instincts that are usually there because of early adversity and trauma, abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, surgeries that we had when we were really younger, being born premature. There's a whole gamut of reasons as to why, as adults, we get sick and we end up with things like PTSD, anxiety, chronic illness, chronic pain, fatigue, etc. So if you wanna check out those other videos that really dive into that, look through the YouTube page and just see what kind of catches your eye. But for today, I've got a special treat. What some of you might know is that I run online programs and this video isn't to sell those programs, it's just to give you context. So one of the things that we work with in these programs, specifically the 12 week program, is anger and learning how to emit healthy aggression and anger in a way that is safe, constructive, and integrative, meaning it isn't just getting put out in a way that isn't useful for the human system, for the human neurophysiology. And what often happens in a lot of practices, especially cathartic practices and practices like core energetics, is that they ask a person to go into these, these emotional reactions, whether it's getting a baseball bat and hitting something or primal screaming, um, things that while it might seem like that's what you want to do to get that anger out, it isn't integrative. It's not safe. And in the programs that I do, we spend up to seven weeks building foundation upon foundation upon foundation. We layer the individual's capacity to feel, to sense, to be with intense, intense emotion and sensation. Because if you think about it, anger is primal and it's big. And it's important because it gets our life force energy out in a way that frees up space. One of the things that we've seen is that things like depression and cancer can be linked to the repression of anger and emotion and we need to find a way to get it out in a safe way. Right now I'm in the tail end of one of my 12 week courses and I had a situation a few weeks ago where I got a little irritated, I got a little angry and I had an opportunity to film working on this process in a way that is sound, foundational, safe, healthy, but also very primal and very aggress aggressive. I do an exercise with my husband, Seth, where I squeeze his arm in a very strong, forceful way. And I show you how um, to do this. Now, the interesting thing is that this was just for my participants in my program. And I asked them, I said, do you think I should share this with the world? Will it make sense? And a few people said, just make sure you post some of the articles, some of the content, the context. And I'm going to also post some of the other vlogs that go with this. So if you watch this, I will really, I really recommend you consume the, at least the two other articles and the other vlog that I've attached to this in the show more section on YouTube, if you're watching this from YouTube, because doing that and watching this, it'll be like a mini workshop on learning about anger and healthy aggression and why it's so important to get these emotions out. Our system will get sick if we hold this stuff in and I was starting to get a little sick. Um, I was starting to get some of the symptoms that I get when I'm really stressed and it was like the tip off that let me know that I was still holding on to something from this incident that occurred. Enjoy, have a watch and um, know that this is of a very small part of learning about nervous system health. It's a small part of rewiring the brain, the nervous system, and healing trauma. And it's a very important part. So if you watch this and you kind of go, oh wow, there's no way I could do that, then this is really important for you. And if you watch it and you go, oh man, 
I need to do that and I need to learn how, check out the other resources that are linked in this video. That's it for now, enjoy. Oh, one more thing, the light isn't that great in this video because we had to do it very impromptu. The time was of the essence, so the voice is there, you can see me, but it's not perfectly lit. Um, the focus is a little funny, but it will show you exactly what happens when a person decides to work with their healthy aggression. Irene and Seth, and um, this is a very poorly lit video, but I wanted to demonstrate a way to work with anger, aggression with a person. Um, and it's kind of timely. I had a situation happen last week. I was away. Um, nothing happened to me physically. I wasn't harmed or hurt, but I was staying at an Airbnb. It was lovely, lovely space, but there was a bit of an ant problem and um, it wasn't nice. And it was one of those things where I kind of was morally deciding, do I just leave? Do I find another hotel financially? I really didn't want to do that. Um, I had some meetings that I had to attend to. So I kind of just, I went into a little bit of a shutdown state, but also a bit of a hyper arousal. I had trouble sleeping. Um, and now that I'm back home, it feels good to be home. Um, my system is still really, I'm really irritated and I know it has nothing to do with my work, has nothing to do with Seth, it has nothing to do with being back in Vancouver. It's just this, I had to kind of go into a bit of a, a shutdown while I was away. So I found myself earlier tonight wanting to like punch him and like get this out. <laughs> Which course, is fine. It has nothing to do with him, but this is something that it's hard to verbally describe in um, text. So we're gonna try to give this a go. Um, if you can recall from the how to unfrustrate frustration article that Seth wrote, we get you to squeeze a towel, which is fine and great. Um, but if you have a person, whether it's a partner, a friend, someone that you trust, someone that is willing to play with this, a forearm, good old forearm can be good for this. And what we'll do is after I do this, I'll get Seth to actually squeeze my forearm because mine's, mine's a lot smaller. Just so you see that um, you don't have to be a big strong person, he's a big guy, you don't need a big person to do this with them, um, obviously with consent. So the first thing is that you wanna make sure that when you do this, you're not squeezing someone's wrist or the joint, it's the long part of the bone. So that's the main thing. You don't want to get the joint because that will hurt. But you can squeeze pretty darn hard on a person's long bone of their forearm. First of all, you got to make sure that the person's arm is where it's comfortable for you. I'm obviously shorter than Seth here. It depends on your height and the person you're working with. Um, so, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to move up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through my process first, and then I might explain. I'll explain what is happening. So what I did there is I tapped into the irritation. I didn't really tap into like the ants or the Airbnb that I was at because that's like in the past. I was just feeling my current frustration. It's more of an irritation that I've got. Um, and the other reason I know that my system is a bit irritated is my um, genetic predisposition when I have lots of stress is I get my skin gets itchy and I get rashes around my neck and I've been getting a little bit of that the last few days that I've been home. So I knew that there was something in me that needed to get out. Um, I'm right now I'm, I'm having to catch my breath because even though that was not a big movement, right? There was, I put all, Seth could agree. Yeah. 
I was really reefing on his arm and then I had a feeling of having to kind of go down a bit. This is how I did it. It doesn't mean that if you do this with someone that you trust and who trusts you that you will do that. It could be something different, but what you have yeah. to do is you have to feel into your own impulse, feel into the movement in your body, and it might be that you just have to do a little bit, or it might be that you have to shake a little bit. The thing, too, is if you've got a partner, as you say to them, if something doesn't feel good or if it's too much, they have the right to say stop. Um, and you just have to have that agreement um, so that you're not hurting them. But as you can, like, that was a lot and he's fine. Yeah. So if I give him my arm, which is a lot smaller. Yeah. And he's got really big hands so much that they just, you know, yeah. get the width. Um, and of course he's taller, so I have to be a little, not uncomfortable, but I got to work a little bit to keep my arm up. That's fine. And he can just... I'm not really angry. I know, he's not angry. Yeah. But if he squeezes, like, yeah. he can squeeze, like he's putting all, like, like I'm That's see almost all my force. Yeah. I can see his forearm muscles popping out. And <clears throat> I've had clients do this to my arm for, like, minutes. Yeah. And it cut, you come out with a little bit of a dent, but it's not going to hurt you because it's a long arm. Um, you, it, this is probably the best arm, or the best arm. <laughs> The best limb, um, our thighs are too big, our calves are too big, the upper arm, the muscles are a little more um, sensitive for some reason, but the forearm is like, you know, you use your hands a lot, so this part is actually pretty safe. Um, I'm just tapping into my own system. I can feel a little bit still in my jaw, so I'm going to do mm -hmm. this one more time. Use the other arm. I'll use this mm -hmm. other arm. Mm -hmm. So rather than again tapping into what I did before, or the ants, or the Airbnb, I'm just feeling the tension in my jaw. So there you go. That was a good one. Okay. So I'm <laughs> hotter in my face. I've also been, since I got home two days ago, I've been really cold, which is abnormal for me, like really cold. And I just felt myself get really hot right now. So um, it's not like me to have a sweatshirt on in the house. So I, I can feel that I need to take it off now. So that's a sign that my system has literally been in a bit of a functional freeze. And this just got that energy going again. Again, what I did was me. It's not to mimic my sounds or what I did, but just to give you an idea of how um, big it could get, mm. how kind of primal it can get, and how if you've got someone um, to work with, it can be really useful. If you have a therapist or someone or a partner and you want to show them this, go for it. So hopefully this has been useful, and um, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Seth. Yeah. Thank you.